Hi, welcome to my home. My name is Salvatore Calabrese, known as the Maestro. Today I'm going to show you how to make the king of the king of the king of the cocktail, the dry martini. But I'm not going to just make an ordinary dry martini. I'm going to bring you back to the 1910. Dry martini, when it was made first, or created first, had 50% of gin and 50% of dry vermouth. But I'm going to do the, the version that I like, which is three parts of gin and one part of dry vermouth with a dash of orange bitter. But I'm not going to use just any ordinary gin. But actually, I'm going to use this incredible Park Tiffert gin from the 1900. So imagine when that drink was made, I would be making it with the same gin of those days. Then I'm going to use my Gino Dry Vermouth. And the simple reason I use this is because it reminds me of the old vermouth that I used to use years and years and years and years ago. And then orange bitter. So, so it's three part. I'm going to put a little a lump of ice into this beautiful 1910 Parisian martini glass. Two lump of very dry, good quality dry ice. And now I'm going to start to get nervous. Okay. I will be using the measure in this case. So it's three part. So I will say 75 milliliter of this incredible chin, then one part of Mancino Dry, so 25, couple dash of orange bitter, and let's uh, now I want to give a little dilution, but not too much, because the, the gin is quite old, so it's a bit fragile. I just want to make it cold enough. Wow. I'm going to use the best lemon in the world from the Amalfi Coast, organic lemon. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most incredible dry martini that you have seen on video using a 120 years old gin. Mm. This is not to be shared, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm in heaven. God bless you all. Oh, oh, mamma mia.